friend. Hello, I'm John Furtree, and as always, I'm excited. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Anyhow, I have my special jacket on because now I'm blogging about my life. Well, we have to go fast because my, this jacket cuts off the blood flow, and let's just say I like to take naps. No, I just pass out. So anyhow, I have some comments you've written on my blog from my one person. Let me just pick up my phone here. Ah, I got it. Okay. Um, so this one comment is from Billy. It's funny. He's such a joker. He says, I wish I, I, um, I see you enough on your show, so why are you talking to people in real life? It's funny because because why am I doing that? So that's funny. Okay, we're well, moving on. Oh, <laughs> these comments are too mean to say. <laughs> oh, oh, I love this comment. Hi, John Birchley. I I didn't like watching you anyhow, but please stay away from my house. Oh, sorry, Phil. Well, I guess I forgot. I promise this time will be the last time. There's going to be no fourth. <laughs> Okay, so anyhow, I could do all those comments even though those are the only two, but I'm excited to get to the review, plus I just, whoa, the blood is going. Um, I'm just so excited. I saw this movie. After I did the blog thing, I came inside, I turned on the TV, and I saw Troll 2. What? What? Talk about great movie. So, I'm watching this movie, right? And it starts off and it says it's Troll 2. Yeah! And so I see the movie, right? And I'm like, okay, well this seems perfectly pleasant. We have this kid and he's talking to his grandpa, right? And they're telling a story about how trolls are eating green, turning people into green goop and eating them. I love stories like that. So anyhow, the grandpa's telling the story and then you, and then the mom comes in and she's like, Billy, who are you talking to? He's like, what do you mean? He's talking to the grandpa. Who else could he be talking to? Why are you asking this question? Right? But then he's like gone and she's like, your grandpa's dead. It's like, what? But how is he there? Did he just die now or did this happen before he was talking to him? Guess what? It happened before he was talking to him. What? Talk about confusing. Conception. I'm trying to connect my hands together to show you how conceptionalized this is. But I can't. And it hurts my bones. <laughs> so anyhow, right, we're watching this movie, and I'm like, what's going to happen? And then there's this random daughter, and she talks to her boyfriend, and they say that very naturally that they're going to a half-empty town. And it's like, yeah, I love to go to a half-empty town. Sounds great. <laughs> right? So they're traveling, right? And then the guy is growing into a tree bear. It's like, what? What? He's not a plant. He's a human child. So why would he be growing branches? That just doesn't add up. Sima Ridges. <laughs> so anyhow, I mean, I've had a few things growing out, but that's just my nails. <laughs> they get pokey. So anyhow, right, she, and then he wakes up from that dream, and it turns out it's just a dream that he was a tree. What? Talk about dreams. <laughs> that's crazy. I had a dream once that I was a donut. I got eaten by the end. <laughs> I just get it. It was fake. I actually did get eaten. No, I didn't annoy you. I just said it wrong. Anyhow, enough about me and my donut dreams. That's safe for my psychologist. So, anyhow, we're going around, right? And we're seeing things, and it's fun. And then they're at the house. It's like, hello, you're at my house. Would you like my keys? But then they don't respond about the TV. Those people are rude. They didn't even respond. But then you discover that they're not rude. So it's like they're half rude, but not. That's called complicated characters. That's called depth. Depth. That's called what? That's what a check mark depth off the list. <gasps> yeah. So they come in and write, they're like, I love this food. And it's like green, like corn green. I didn't even know they had corn green where they were, but apparently they do. What? What? But then the grandpa's like, they can't eat that food because then they'll turn into trolls. And that's like bad. So he stops time and then some other things happen. And there's this really funny scene where a guy gets covered in popcorn and it's quite hilarious. But I felt, I felt like, what if, what if he didn't like getting covered in popcorn? And then I thought, oh dear, you know, I remember getting covered in popcorn and well, 
it was a perfectly pleasant experience. Maybe it isn't for him. So anyhow, enough of that. I, I hope he has a good time eating his popcorn. And then the ghost dad sets one on fire. Okay, and then they leave the town. So that's how, that's all that movie, right? And then they come back to their house and it's like, oh, well, we've just had the best experience of our life. And then the mom's like, do you want an apple? And he's like, no, mom. I just was petrified by the goblin, so I'm not wanting an apple right now. That's understandable. So then, anyhow, the mom goes up to the shower, and the boy's like, Well, mom, can I have an apple now? Oh, no, she's in the shower, and now I can't have an apple until she leaves. So he goes up to see that, and then the trolls are eating her. And it's like, what? Twist? Talking about Twilight Zone stuck onto Twilight Zone? Rob certainly shouldn't be there smoking right now. <laughs> My goggles are fogging up. I can't see. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, talking about not being able to see. I'm feeling woozy. So anyhow, uh, all that happens, right? And then, and then he, they're like, Joshua, do you want some? And it's like, of course he doesn't want some. He doesn't feel like eating plant, mom. Why would he do that? And then he screams. And that was the movie. And I give this movie a troll because it was troll, so I put troll in it. <laughs> One hundred million a thousand. Oh yeah.